What's up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel I've installed latest build of Rev OS 20.5.27 which is based on MIUI 12 and is based on Android version 10 as you can see you got the security patch of 5th of May 2020 this one is actually the ported ROM which I've installed on Redmi Note 5 but it is available for a lot of devices in the form of GSI and also available for a lot of devices as a ROM. So if you want to install that ROM, you can install that ROM. If you want the GSI, if it is not available for you, you can install the GSI also. In this video, I'll show you that which are the things you get here and is this the best ever MIUI 12 based ROM for any device. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started now. Okay, so here you can see I have installed Rev OS. First of all, one of the best thing about this build is the performance, the smoothness. Rev OS is officially known for the performance of its build and yes, it is confirmed. It is just great. The performance of this build is one of the best I have ever seen. If you talk about multitasking, that's just great. If you talk about the control center lags, there are no lags at all. If you talk about features, simplicity, everything is super great in this build. If this build is officially not available for you, you can try out the GSI and the review of this build and GSI is almost same. No features are here and there. Yes, some bugs could be here and there and you have to compromise with those bugs. So let me show you some things first of all we will talk about the Mi 12 camera this one is the camera which you got by default and in my device which i am using redmi note 5 pro photo mode portrait mode including ai mode everything is perfectly working but if you are using any other device or if you are using gsi there could be bugs here and there but instead of that you can use gcam if you want and that would be pretty much awesome for you if you talk about weather, weather app is obviously from MIUI 12. If you talk about security app, that is also from MIUI 12. All the apps from MIUI 12 are perfectly working here. If you talk about cleaner, that's also there. So I didn't got any bug till now. And if you talk about the performance, that's just great. Let's move on to settings. First of all, let me show you one more thing. If we talk about if you go to theme center, a lot of themes are available. It's still looking like in Chinese names are in English now. So a lot of themes are available. If you just want to try out, you can try out any theme from here. And one of the best thing which I like about Rev OS is when you go to theme store, you always get one theme pre-installed. And in this build, yes, it is installed. The name of the theme is iOS. This is by Rev OS team, as you can see, based on iOS theme from XYZ Escape or it etc whatever else you can simply apply from here you don't have to download this theme from anywhere else and your theme will be applied successfully as you can see this is how it looks yes it's not that much great i personally didn't like it a lot but yes you can use any other theme also there are a lot of themes available one of the main theme one of the best thing which i personally liked a lot is wait just let me show you I think when you go to theme store favorites likes orders and I don't think so you got a lot of themes there yes the purchase themes are available and this one if you did not use this theme yet make sure to try this because this one is one of the best theme which I have ever used especially on MIUI 12 let me just download and show you how this theme looks the review of this theme is already available on my channel make sure to check that if you didn't check out yet click on apply and theme will be applied successfully everything will everything will work definitely and as you can see this is how it looks the home screen the icons everything looks just great and you need reboot to properly apply this theme on rev os i have tried a lot of times but you need reboot for that your home screen icons will definitely look great so let's move on to settings check out some main features which you get here oh, and yes i just forgot one thing when you go to theme store here you also have the option of choosing the wallpapers and there are a lot of wallpaper wallpapers are pre-installed as you can see a lot of wallpapers are pre-installed that's another very cool thing which i liked 
so let's move on further check out some features in settings this is actually based on android 10 so all the features of android 10 are already available if we talk about connection and sharing yes me share cast printing a lot of these things are available display here you also get the color scheme dark mode option you have the option of choosing the system font and as you can see i've already changed the system fonts which are looking very much good and you also got the option of control center and this one is a new thing which i liked switch control center side if you choose this option to on your control center will be come from this side by default it is coming from the right side but uh, in this by choosing this setting your control center will open from the left side this setting you can enable or disable from control center and status bar settings quick settings layout and all things are same like that move on to other things sound and vibration all things are same vibrate for calls profile video additional settings all things are same like the previous ones no extra things are here in home screen you get the option of choosing the home screen with regular or app drawer that's also a very cool thing double tap to lock screen shake to fill empty cells show memory status password and security in my device as a fingerprint lock or face lock both of these these things are perfectly working but if you're using your own device any other device or using gsi this could be the bug i'm not sure regarding that i'll drop the link for all the builds for every device so make sure to check those builds if you want to and if you don't know how to install a gsi i've already made a dedicated video on that one also in full screen display you also have the option of hide full screen indicator which is this pill but i will not hide it looks just great and you can see the multitasking the animations are looking pretty much smooth you also got the option of floating window in which you can use any app in the floating window that is another cool thing just simply use any app so and another one of the good thing which i like this wait just let me show you this one here just wait this one new music ui this was not looking like same in other builds but in this menu 12 build the music panel looks nice also these were all the things which i just want to show you so make sure i think you like this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to enjoy a lot of videos from my channel thanks for watching and have a nice day